All right, guys. Good evening. It is um, Tuesday, February twenty eighth, twenty seventeen, six thirty p.m. New York time. Um, just want to make a quick video. I don't know if it'll be uploaded in time, but it doesn't matter. Um, you can always go back and look at it later. So here we are. Talked about this last week, but we are just about at Australian dollar GDP coming up at seven thirty New York time. So they are expecting a positive reading of 0.7% quarter over quarter versus a negative 0.5% uh, uh, last quarter when it reported. So again, they're expecting a positive number. Now remember that the Aussie has been certainly has been strengthening lately, um, really over the last many many weeks. Uh, although the Royal Bank of Australia uh, does still express some reservations about uh, how fast it's gone um, but nevertheless it has uh, been going up um, and so originally when I was looking at this last week I was thinking that this might be a catalyst to send the Aussie down uh, and kind of feed into that uh, what is positioned as a you know still longer term weakness according to the um, the RBA however I have a slightly different take this now and uh, I'll just go over these really quick and uh, see what you think okay so let's look uh, here's the Aussie Swiss Let me zoom out a little bit here you can see again we've been in this very strong uptrend here uh, we've now come back and, and are retesting this trend line here um, now on the on the daily chart and on the 12 hour uh, pretty much all these about the eight hour up we do have some divergence here we made this new high um, well actually I don't really see the divergence on the 12 hour um, but I would I would like to have seen the CCI make a new high here but either way if we go down to a lower time frame that this action down right here could be an ABC correction and that would you know we're going to be going back up again uh, at the news now we may see initially a little maybe a little move down either heading into the news or maybe even at the news we may see a spike through here uh, and then turn back up if we measure out this ABC that's about 115 pips on the A and we're at about 70 here so so that's another bit of a limiting con uh, factor here but it's not necessarily a deal breaker so um, so I'm going to see what happens, but this one looks somewhat bullish um, that, you know, if we lead into this news going down, that the news will come out positive and we'll push back to the upside, okay? So let's look at a couple of other pairs. Um, the Aussie dollar uh, could also be in that position again. This is the daily chart. We've seen this very strong push up. Now we are turning down. We have been turning down, actually. Um, but, uh, you know, of course, this is very heavily inf influenced by the dollar. And the dollar had a really strong day uh, today after some early weakness it came back. So, um, so I'd probably be less inclined to trade this pair, uh, mainly because it's under the influence of the dollar. But, um, you know, we'll see. that this, this could potentially be a correction and then back up too. But um, if I do trade this, I probably won't trade the, this particular pair. But I just wanted to show it to you. So let's go over to the Euro Aussie and the Aussie Kiwi. So here's Euro Aussie on the 12 hour. This this looks this action right here does look more corrective. Um, let's zoom down a little bit here. You know, this definitely looks corrective. As we've gone up and made new highs here, the CCI has not kept up. So I can see this turning down and, and at least uh, retagging this low here which is about 196 pips and again zooming out a little bit here we've been in this strong downtrend and uh, you know I, I don't it doesn't look like it's over yet we don't really have any super strong move to the upside we've just kind of been wandering up I mean we haven't had a really strong impulsive uh, day or two to you know push it up and take out these highs and the CCI is going up spread apart so again I'm thinking your Aussie will go down on the news so again that would be positive for the Australian dollar and let's go over to the Aussie Kiwi it's not a pair I trade a lot but again if you look at this um, 
you know, I could see this being, you know, being uh, uh, ending a wave four, heading into the news here. here. One, two, three. This is three. This is four. And now you know ABC down for four, and uh, we'll see what happens. So, um, you know, but again, um, yeah, that's the way it looks right now. Uh, I, I could see this going down actually a little bit prior to going back up, which was similar to the Aussie Swiss. I can see this push down one more time, uh, but maybe not. We got another hour till the news. That's not going to be really enough to do much. You can see it is going up right now uh, on the one hour chart. So maybe we see a little correction or maybe we see it go back down heading into the news. So um, so that's Aussie Kiwi. Uh, the, the Kiwi is... Um, see here the Kiwis uh, has been weak so certainly that would push the Aussie Kiwi higher all right so and the last one is pound Aussie and again this one's not quite as clear either but here we are this is the 15 minute chart and you can see we've been correcting for a long time but we're now kind of coming into this little wedge triangle here we zoom out a little bit get that off of there Um, we get that off of there. You know, I, I can see this kind of just meandering around. Now, now, really, when you have a pattern like this, you can say, well, it could go up or down, you know, because this sideways action is not really making any new highs. But this is really what I'm concentrating on is this, this strong impulsive move down. And now we're kind of, we've moved up and now we're kind of moving sideways. Uh, that we could certainly go down and make, you know, uh, start making a new low again so um, let's see we go down a little bit further here yeah you really can't see too much else here I mean this is really just sloppy sideways action here there's really nothing here uh, going out to the higher time frame again we're just consolidating smaller and smaller price range so um, but I could I could see this pair definitely going down so so again guys um, I didn't look at Aussie yen but again uh, the you know yen pairs you know are not not great to trade in my opinion unless there's uh the, you know, the yen has something to do with it but again you know uh you could see this as a correction and uh you know and now maybe on the news we we go back up again uh, kind of retesting this trend line this could be an abc pattern down one, two, three, four, five for C, you know, so I, I, I could see that uh, these ABCs are not even here, but let's just see what it is. It's about 187. Uh, this one, about 157. So, um, so again, but that, that doesn't necessarily mean anything, but uh, we'll see. So again, guys, um, we'll see how this comes out. Um, we've got about 45 minutes to the news and uh, maybe I'll make, make another video um, afterwards and we'll see it you know how it goes um, but that's the way it's looking now again last week I was thinking that this would send the Aussie down but maybe not um, these might just be corrections so and uh, so we'll see uh, but again guys um, as you saw last week uh, I had a couple of um, I had a couple of uh, scenarios that didn't work out so as always please um, you know don't take any trades based on anything I'm telling you use your own judgment use your own risk and your own system whatever you do um, this is just really for educational purposes and uh, a little bit from you know an Elliott wave and uh, fundamental standpoint so alright guys so uh, maybe I'll be back on later and we have some big uh, Canadian news tomorrow morning, so maybe I'll do a quick review of the of the Canadian pairs after. All right, so that's it, guys. Talk to you all soon. Thanks.